What started as a simple in-class assignment turned into a safety campaign for young drivers and passengers to wear their seatbelts. Reporter Gabriela Becerra went to Verado High School where Mrs. Eisen's class started the Buckle Up VHS campaign. Good afternoon, Vipers. This is day two of our Buckle Up Verado campaign. The assignment for Ms. Eisen's AP government class was to draft a bill that didn't exist. The purpose of the assignment is to see the kind of politics that goes into legislation, and um, to see that it's really hard to pass a bill and bills can die for a lot of reasons. But Amber Silverio's bill requiring seatbelts in the back seat of a car didn't die. It was one of like two bills that passed all day. The bill was more than an assignment for Silverio and her classmates because of accidents involving friends. The idea of these losses and car accidents is just something that was really fresh in my mind. So the class quickly got behind the idea of turning her bill into action. Something that we wanted to get out there, something that we wanted to leave an impact on the school. They're asking their classmates to take this pledge with them. Come sign our banner, guys. For me to sign this, I will be buckling up, and I want to set the example for the younger generation coming up and those that aren't buckling up now. The class raised donations to have banners placed on light poles in the student parking lot with the reminder to buckle up. The bill is even getting the attention of the Arizona legislature. Senator Martin Quesada says it's amazing to see the students taking action. Young people now are really understanding the power that they have and the influence they have and their ability to uh, not only uh, uh, make noise about an issue, but actually have uh, impacts on, on the changing of public policy. But at the end of the day, the students just want to save lives. Just one person, if they're going to wear their seatbelt because of this, like that's, that's enough for me. I don't know about everyone else, but that's enough for me. In Buckeye, Gabriella Becerra, Cronkite News. The banners won't be going up until next school year, and although these graduating seniors won't be around to see it, they say they're excited for the legacy they could leave behind.